Hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Welcome. Glad to have you. I'm going to give the room just a minute for a few more people to sign in and then I'm going to get started. I am going to be covering the best of 2020 categories tonight, which is going to be a different video from the best of 2020 bag tag because I still have to film that video. So thanks for joining. I'm just going to, again, just wait just another moment for a few more folks to join in and then I am going to get started. If you would Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you would say hello in the chat so that I know who we have in the room, I'd appreciate it. So um, it was, I guess, a week ago that I announced during my live stream last Sunday that I was creating a bag tag um, for the amazing women in this community to share their best of 2020 bags like the, the the best of the hands and accessories and it should be limited to 10 and it could include accessories i have been working on my list for the past week and i think i have it narrowed down but other than bags there are some other things that i wanted to cover that i thought would be fun and bag related. So I have a few categories and I am going to cover those and hopefully this list will spark some of the other folks in the community um, to share their own bags in these categories. And then my goal is by the end of the month, the last day of the month, I will officially post my video of my best of 2020 bags. But tonight is not going to be the best of 2020 bags. Tonight is going to be the winners in some very specific categories. So if you are watching this video and you um, are participating in the best of 2020 bags, then I am going to also challenge you to participate in this one and to post a separate video and post the winners of the following categories. And these are the ones that I am going to cover tonight. So the best price or the best deal that you got on a bag or an accessory, the best small bag or cross body for 2020, your most sought after bag purchase in 2020, the most versatile accessory in your collection, your most reached for accessory, the best on the go accessory, because those could be different. For some people, they may be the same, but they could be different. The next category is the best catch all of 2020. The next category is the cutest or most empowering accessory purchase for 2020. The next is your best COVID carry, right? Because COVID was lurking in everything that we were doing, everything that we were trying to um, navigate had COVID in the middle of it. And many of us changed our handbag carries in 2020 to accommodate or to take into consideration the germs and sanitizing and all of those things. So the next category is your best COVID carry. The next is the best bag purchase. So it doesn't have to be something that you've carried, but if you're a satchel girl, I wanna know what your best satchel purchase is. If you're a tote girl, I want to know what your best tote purchase was. If you're a uh, clutch or a crossbody, I want to know in that category, what is your best of purchase? Doesn't have to be something that you've actually carried. Then I want to know the bag style or type or silhouette that you purchased most often in 2020. 
Um, I'm going to do the most compared to. So if you are an influencer and at any point you have made a purchase and you thought about another bag that you have in your collection or maybe a bag that didn't work out for you and you were comparing that bag to something else that you were considering, I want to know what that bag is. Um, your most sought after color in 2020 and then the bag that you purchased that took the longest for that bag to go on sale so those are the 14 categories that i'm going to cover tonight a completely different list from my best of 2020 bags so i do hope that you will come back for that video but for those of you that are participating in the best of 2020 bags tag, I am also tagging you for the winner is and for you to share what your best of was in these categories. So the first one again is the best price or the best deal that you got on a bag in 2020. And for those of you that do not have channels, I'd ask that you share in the comments or in the live chat because I always go back and review the comments because I'm interested in what goes on when I'm just talking at the screen. So the first of the 14 categories for the winner is tag is best price or best deal on a bag in 2020. It is none other than the Dooney and Burke Alto Rosanna. Let me tell you, if you missed out on this bag deal, then you just did that. You missed out. Um, Roslyn Ellis and I had a recent conversation after this bag went over to ILD. And the conversation was, how in the heck did we get such an amazing deal on this brand new alto bag so for those of you that may have missed it or may have missed it in the live chat when this deal came up this was a new alto bag on Dooney and Burke this year the bag was over four hundred dollars um, matter of fact it's discounted right now on ILD for I think four hundred and twelve dollars and some change yes but just a week or two after this bag launched, there was, I think, a 30% off sale. And then each one of us had 500 points available in our loyalty program. So that took another $30 off of the already discounted price. We literally paid $200 for this bag. And it's listed right now, discounted on ILD for $412. This is brand new retail, still in its uh, manufacturer's or brand warranty, $200. And matter of fact, I got greedy and I purchased more than one, but I'm not ready to share the other one on the channel yet. So that was hands down for me the best deal the best price on a bag purchase in 2020. all right so i have not yet carried this but that's not the point the point was to identify of all of the shopping of all of the purchases that you made in 2020 what was your best deal on a handbag purchase? Well, if you can think of it, because I know 2020 feels like it was forever ago, right? For if you're trying to think of something that you purchased during the summer, it may be difficult, but I'm going to challenge you that if you don't have a channel to think about that and to participate in the comments tonight to share um, your bag for each categories and for my tribe sisters and everyone everyone that wants to participate um, in the tag 
the winner is the first category is best price or best deal on a bag the next one is the next category is best small bag or cross body so best small bag or cross body in 2020 and I'm pretty sure y'all are not gonna guess what this is matter of fact I just want to kind of see in the comments what you think my best small bag or crossbody purchase is for 2020. All right, so Mo says Cassie, Lucinda says Cassie. Who else? Any other guests? Rosalind says Cassie. You know what? I spend too much time talking to some of you ladies. <laughs> Because you absolutely nailed it, and it is none other than Cassie. Not just any Cassie. It was the light taupe one that I fell in love with, and then it disappeared. And I had the hardest time trying to find this bag. And then when I moved in her, to my surprise, I had to force myself back out. Of this bag and not only do I have this one but there are four others there are a total of five Cassie's in my collection but by far by far this one is my favorite it is neutral it goes with absolutely everything um, I did not have to worry about dressing up, dressing down because the color works for everything. I love that I can carry this top handle, crossbody, shoulder bag. It absolutely works. And you know what else? It does just fine with Lysol, Clorox wipes, Lysol wipes because it has been wiped, sanitized, sprayed, and it still comes out looking like a champion and you can tell it's been used because you can see some of the indentions from where I had my stuff and it is stuff but you can also tell that it's not as flat as some of the brand new ones because all of my stuff has been stretched out because she has been carried this bag is amazing and I did not initially y'all have heard me say over and over again I'm a toddler. I'm, I'm basically, well, uh, not a toddler. I'm an embryo when it comes to coach purchases. So I was really, really late getting on the Cassie bandwagon. But when I got on, it was really difficult for me to get off. And five purchases later, this bag made the best small bag crossbody for me in 2020. So... I'm sure that there are other small bags. I can't say that I'm going to purchase any more small bags. I do believe that I am at my quota. Um, but I am curious to know what some of your small crossbody bags were the best of for 2020. So the next bag category... Let me put this over here because I reach for her kind of often. All right. The next bag category is the most sought after bag or silhouette of 2020. Now, this bag was not new in 2020, but... The embryo, the coach embryo in me wanted this bag, fell in love with this bag, had to have it, and purchased a couple, and that is none other than the coach double swagger. Now, I would have pulled out the apricot or apricot because that is the one that I have carried. Um, but to be honest. I couldn't put my hands on it. It's in here somewhere. Um, because I pulled it out and played with accessories to go with it. But I don't know where I put it. So.
So this gives you all the visual that you need. Um, this is the chambray. I have an apricot and I also have a beechwood. So those are the, um, that is the most sought after bag. And it was sought after for me because I was late to the game. It wasn't readily available. Each and every one of these purchases was a labor of love and it was truly a tribe effort. So for all of you, Lucinda Quimbley, <laughs> that pointed me in the direction of one or more Mono's Beauty <laughs> um, swagger purchases, I really appreciate the fact that um, we were able to shop together, buy together, and collect together because it is absolutely amazing to have women that know what you're looking for and that are on the lookout and will reach out to you to let you know that if there is something out there that you are looking for that they have spotted that they will let you know that and that is exactly how I went from a, a wish list of owning a double swagger to having three of them in my collection. So my most sought after bag in 2020 is the Coach Double Swagger. The next category is my most versatile accessory. And this one, I'm really curious to see what... Um, you ladies will end up putting in your videos. And again, I have my best of 2020 bag video coming. It will be posted on the last day of the month, but it's more than just bags in our collection. And I thought that this video would help to capture some of those other categories for the best of. So the most versatile accessory in my collection is none other than BAM. <laughs> this Anne Klein wallet was my jam from spring to summer into fall because every color, every bag, every size, every silhouette, she works. She goes with everything. It doesn't matter whether I'm in a small Cassie or whether I am in a large Florentine Camden Hobo. This wallet goes with everything. So it was a relatively inexpensive and unexpected find at my local TJ Maxx. It was on clearance and I paid $12 for it. And I have more than gotten my $12 worth of carry out of this one. And I will be moving back into her again because spring is going to pop off at some point. And once I move into this one, there's no moving out because there's plenty of card slots, place for my coins. Um, it's not a dark interior and it just goes from one bag to the next, making it really, really easy and really, really quick for me to change bags. Now, I do know that a few ladies, including I think Carmen Hawkins and Phenomenal Personality found this wallet. Um, there were also a couple of folks, I think uh, DJ King and, oh, I'm drawing a blank that actually found a different version, different color ways of this wallet. But if you see something like this, and it may not be something that you would normally gravitate to, I would challenge you to take a minute, pause and look at it. Think about your collection and see how easy the carry, the switching of your bags will make, it, it will make when you carry something like this. So this is, my most versatile accessory because 
it was able to go from bag to bag to bag to bag to bag without me having to worry about changing anything. All right, my most reached for accessory is none other than my coach pencil case because since the start of COVID, it did not matter where I was, what needed to be signed, whether it was voting, it did not matter. I was reaching for this because I have my own pens and my own stylus. I had my little perfume on the go in here. I have the ink cartridges for my fountain pen in here. So, and y'all know with me being in Georgia, we've been some voting fools down here. So having a stylus with me, having to sign all of the forms, even having to sign like the register, the credit card machines and stuff, um, you know, in the times that I've gone out, having my own pen, my own stylus was very, very, like if, Every time I'm not I'm not touching anybody's pen out in public. I no no I I need to push buttons. So I was constantly in and out of my bag reaching for this little thing, which saved the entire inside of my bag from ink refills exploding and pen caps coming off, but it came in handy because I never leave home without a pen or stylus. All right, the next step category is the best on the go accessory. Here we go with Coach again. My Coach wristlet, I think this is the 24, 19, I don't know, pick a number. But it's basically a small purse with a built-in wallet, and that's exactly how I've used it. It has been used as a wallet and as a semi-catch-all, but there have been many a times like running out to go grab food or running to um, the drugstore where I did not take my full bag. I just grabbed this because it had everything in it. My phone would fit. It has an extra um, couple of masks in here. It has hand sanitizer. It has cash. It has cards. It has my checkbook. It literally has everything in here. And believe it or not, I still have room to slide not one, but two phones in here. And then when I come back, it has survived being sanitized with Lysol and my Clorox and Lysol wipes. So this one has been on the go a lot. I wish I could find a few more of these. I probably don't need another one, but that doesn't stop me from wanting another couple of these in my collection. Maybe solid colors so that... Um, they can, you know, go from bag to bag a little more seamless. But I love this thing. Love it. And um, DJ King goes to the enabler corner because of this one. Um, so the corner's getting full. There's, there have been a few, few names mentioned tonight. All right. The best catch-all. And if you need to see more of these, just check out my tribe sister says what because she she basically showed what most of our collections look like. I only pulled one, the one that I'm using right now. But the best catch-all, the best COVID supply pack situation is none other than the $5 pouches from Target. These are by the brand Ruby and Cash, and we are two years running with a wiping out Target during back to school with like the best catch-all. Like whether you are 
just using it for sanitizing mass situations, whether you never leave home without your allergy medicine like me, whether you are using it for anything else. I, listen, these things for $5, I really, really thought that these pouches would have had like busted zippers and threads popping and you know them them not lasting but I have beat the heck out of these pouches and have lived in quite a few of them and when I get ready to switch and look at it the bag looks back at me and is like is that all you got that's all you got you thought you were going to tear me up because you can, I've not been able to kill one of these. Now, maybe some of you have, maybe you've been doing other things or whatever, but I will tell you, these pouches are worth the whole $4.99 that we spend on them because they are absolutely eye-catching. They add a little bit of pizzazz and um, something just something extra to the carry and they are completely functional they don't look like they're five dollar pouches they blend in with so many other things that you have if you have not taken the plunge be on the lookout once the weather gets warm for a video around the July time frame because that is when Target launches and when we all like descend on Target and Target.com to make sure that we don't miss any of the bag offerings. So that's a whole lot for a $5 pouch, but they're just that good. And if you're curious about how many there have been, um, says what has a video, DJ King has a video, I have a video. Mo has a video. I think Lucinda Quimbley has a video. Um, Carmen Hawkins has a video. I think Kimberly Mines has a video. Like, there are tons of videos out there so that you can actually see the hauls and to see this catch-all accessory in action. Absolute best catch-all of 2020. The next is what I will call the most um, empowering or the cutest accessory purchase of 2020. And if you have not gone on to check these out, they do have um, other ethnic groups represented. So if you're looking for one that looks like you, check the site. I do have these listed in my Amazon store. But these free wanderer cosmetic pouches, I love them. I think at this point, I have all of the Black Girl Magic Squad cosmetic pouches. And I'm constantly stalking to see if and when they add new pouches because they're just that stinking cute. Now, this one, I... Um, I, I've actually picked up a few and gave them to my mom as stocking stuffers for Christmas because this is about the size that she's carrying right now um, as her, like, her purse, like, in and out of work and running into the grocery store and stuff. She's not carrying coach bag. She's not carrying a duty bag. She's got her phone, which fits in here. She has her duty and Bur Burke uh, Florentine card case it's thrown in here she has a mask in here her hand sanitizers in here so everything that she kind of needs on the go and it can also be wiped down with no issues there have been some really really cute pictures posted in some of the facebook groups again rosalind ellis is going to the enabler corner because after a few of the pictures that she posted I went back and said, well, I didn't have that that one yet, but I need it. Now I need, so I just went ahead and purchased them. And of course, Amazon Prime, two days, they were here. But this is the one that I moved in and have not moved out of because I have been in a red bag since. 
and it's kind of a pinky red but the best part of this is that it is so stinking cute so best um or the most empowering or the cutest accessory for 2020 this one by free wanderer takes the takes takes the trophy all right the next one is what I'm calling the best pandemic bag. Yes, I have a bag that you know was referred to as my little pandemic bag. And it's a coach bag. And the reason that this bag became a pandemic bag is because it was relatively inexpensive. And I felt like if I needed to throw it away if I didn't feel like I could sanitize it, then no harm, no foul. If I felt like I wanted to throw it in the washing machine, my bag, my washer, my money, I could throw it in the washer. But this thing held all of my essentials and then some. It was pretty casual because at that point, especially at the start of COVID when we were really on lockdown and like not moving, not moving around as much as we are now, I was pretty much in like jeans or leggings going out and denim was right um, on point with everything that I was wearing. And even if it wasn't, it was about feeling comfortable with the bag that I was carrying it, carrying. And if it were not um, sanitized and I felt like I needed to discard it, then I felt like I could do that with this bag. But needless to say, it's still here. It has been thoroughly wiped down, clean, sprayed. Great pandemic bag. I am sure that um, I will carry this bag again in the spring. But just like I don't like carrying bags as of late to like family members' funerals because I don't want that stigma um, or memory tied to the bag, this bag will forever remind me of COVID. So at some point, it's probably going to disappear out of my collection or I will rehome it. But for now, it is absolutely perfect. My phone fed, there's a place for me to put my mask, it's got a decent sized butt so I didn't um, have to really cut down on a ton of things that I felt like I needed to carry because I was carrying like full size sanitizer, a couple of extra wipes, uh, not, not wipes, a couple extra masks, full thing of um, wet one wipes and then Clorox wipes and I mean it was, it was command central for when I left the house. And this worked. Snap closure. Never had any issues with anything falling out, coming out. Um, anybody trying to get in my bag. It just worked. So this is my best COVID carry of 2020 or my pandemic bag. So that's where we land with that one. The next category for me is because I'm a tote girl. So if you go back and do a video on the winner is for your collection, then you insert the bag category that you are. So if you're a satchel girl, you do the best satchel purchase of 2020. But I am a tote girl. So for my video, it is going to be the best tote purchase of 2020. And... I moved in and I haven't moved out and I'm gonna move out because I'm already a week behind. I know all of you are finishing up like the seven day bag challenge, but I couldn't move out. I, I couldn't. I have my bag. I know what I'm gonna move into and I'm going to move out of this bag tonight after I come back from dinner, but I could. This bag What I mean, so like, I steal the whole quoted canvas thing with LV. I don't know that I will ever take that plunge. Maybe I will, but I don't foresee it happening. I take pride in being 
the cleanup crew for the slaughterhouse. Like, you guys enjoy the ground beef, enjoy the steak, enjoy the lamb chops. I'm going to enjoy the hide. I'm going to enjoy the best of the animal, the part that lingers the longest and provides a great service in my handbag collection. And when I got this bag, and ever since I've moved in, there is a part of me that says, I understand why people love the idea of a never full or the silhouette of it, right? The open toe, grab and go, goes with everything. Um, now again, I, I want leather, but I, I think my brain temporarily started to comprehend other than the whole status of LV but started to understand why there are so many people that love their never fulls. It's because it is amazing. Now, not coated canvas, does have a closure, does have feet, full grain leather, organization on the outside and inside, none of which the LV has other than the pouch. But this bag gives me that oversized tote and it has been hard for me. I'm like holding on like I know I got to move out so that I can carry my crossbody so that I can give an update. But I am I am holding on really tight to this one. It has been amazing outside pocket, the feet, the shoulder drop, the snaps, the color. I love it. Let me, I have not, look, I know y'all are sick of seeing this one, but that's it. This bag, you can tell she's been loved and I'm not taking it easy on her at all i shouldn't have to she's full grain she has been in the rain she has also been in the snow and she just works she just works so go forth goods best tote purchase for me for 2020 um my most purchased bag of 2020. Did I bring it in here? Yeah. Most purchased. Hadn't even been unpacked. But it's the medium Russell. Every color, every fabric, every leather, every size. If they brought it out in Russell this year for 2020, consider it done. I shoulder drop aside because I the, the shoulder drop on medium Russell is terrible. I, I've said it from the very time I've talked about it on my channel. I've recommended it. It's been in my top 20, still remains in my top 20 of all time bags. But just because I love it doesn't mean I don't have a critique or that I that it can't be made better. And this bag, the shoulder drop sucks. It sucks for the size bag. It doesn't pass the elbow test. The style of the handles are rolled, so they don't want to stay on the shoulder most of the time. And y'all already know, I don't have shoulder real estate to start with, but I continue... Continue to buy medium Russell because it is amazing. Shoulder drop aside. So, um, my most purchased of 2020 is the medium Russell. All right. The next bag category is the most compared to. So, as I look at bag dimensions, as I do comparison videos on my channel, 
as I am exploring new brands, trying to figure out if a bag style silhouette dimensions are going to work for me, the bag that I always seem to go back to from a comparison standpoint is none other than the Dooney and Burke Leisure Shopper. It's what I compared my Go Forth Good Tote to. It is what I've compared all of my MCM purchases to. It is what I have compared the uh, coat top central top zip tote. It's what I compared my large Maxine to. It is what I have compared. Like everything gets measured to the standard of the Dooney and Burke Leisure Shopper. And I don't, it, I mean, whether it's the one, the Safiano with the corner, um, you know, the, the, the corner panels, you know, whether it has the corner panels or whether it's this style that, you know, just has the piping, doesn't matter to me. I love them. And it has a great shoulder drop, whether it's Safiano, whether it's coated, um, cotton. This also kind of gives the never full um, vibe to it just because it's a tote but it has of course way more function and so much better features than in my opinion the never full does because of the shoulder drop, the zip, the inside organization, the feet under the bottom. The It's just it's amazing. But here we go. Here we go. Everything gets compared to the dimensions, the shoulder drop, the butt of this style bag. If you recall in 2020, there was a video on a, a live stream one Sunday that I did um, talking about learning your handbag personality, your preferences knowing what dimensions work best for you with bags so that as you are looking at bags, you can easily um, decide whether or not this is, has the potential to be a bag that's going to work for you or whether you're experimenting and it could possibly result in a return. Well, the dimensions that I went through in that video leisure shopper like the large size would be the large end would be the medium Russell but if we're talking about go to everyday dimensions of a bag that just works for me shoulder drop feet but organization pockets wish it still wish it had an outside pocket but everything gets compared to the Dooney and Berg leisure shopper all right Category 14, and I hope many of you participate because I would really like to see what your winners are in each of these categories. And I will be back on the last day of this month to post my best of 2020 bags, which is different from these categories for tonight. Um, so for me, um, oh, sorry, this is 13. The most sought after color for me in 2020 I know you would think that it's red but I got my feel of red bags in 2020 and that's not to say that I'm not gonna buy red bags in 2021 because I probably will but red is one of those colors that you are able that I was able to find um but seeing this color, um, when Mrs. Q did her uh, birthday Galleria tour and seeing Golden Mango for the first time and then trying to track it down, wait, looking for it in the store, waiting for it to hit the outlets, trying to find matching accessories to go with this, Golden Mango by far was my most sought after color of 2020 because it was hard to find. It really resulted in looking um, high and low, 
and staying in contact with my essays and um, stalking several IG pages of essays um, with MCM. And then once I got one bag, I needed a second bag. And once you have two bags, you need accessories and matching wallets and pouches and catch-alls and all of the other things that go with creating a bag ensemble. So although, yes, red is always my go-to, I purchased a truckload of neutral colored bags like the Cassie in like uh, taupe in 2020 but the one that I stalked that took work and effort for the hunt was none other than the color golden mango she is so pretty okay 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 all right um the bag the collection the um, silhouette that for me took seems like it took forever for this bag to go on sale and quite honestly I, I just finally decided I was going to use my points and just get it because I didn't want anybody's COVID return uh, in 2020 so I just kind of took a plunge but it was, I wanted it, you've, if you've watched the live stream where I um, revealed this bag, you know that it was a part of support. It was a me taking a position on um, marketing and representation, but I just finally gave up and decided I'm just going to spend my $30 worth of points and pull the trigger on none other than... Bloomberg monogram large tote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're probably thinking that's the same as the leisure shopper. No, 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 not really. It's not. Different handles, different shoulder drop. The silhouette is similar, but it has an outside pocket, which is something that I really, really, really want on the leisure shopper. It has feet, it has the top zipper. It is a really good sister bag. For the leisure but it is not the same bag do not let anyone tell you that this bag is the same as a leisure shopper there are some differences and there are several ladies in the live chat tonight that have both a leisure and a monogram tote and I, you know I don't know I could be wrong I'll, I'll take it in the chat I'll take it in the comments if you're watching on, um, on the replay but would you agree that these bags, they are similar, but they are not the same? I agree, Rosalind Ellis. The straps are far better on the Leisure Shopper. There is just something about rolled handles. And I don't care what the bag is from Dooney. I, there's a, I wish they would discontinue rolled handles. They are not there. I have yet... To find a bag that they work on. They don't work on Kristen in my opinion. They didn't work on my Brooklyn tote. They, they just. They don't work on Cindy. They just. Do not. Work. But. I do have two of them. <laughs> I had a third. Um, but the color. I purchased a wine. And I was expecting the wine to be a true bright berry color that you could really tell was a wine. Well, when I got it here indoors, it looked like a different shade of brown. And um, I didn't want brown. I wanted wine. That wasn't a clear distinction between the colors. And I felt like if I had to be in natural light in order for people to be able to distinguish the color of that bag, that it just was not a good color. So that one went back. I did not unpack it. I didn't have to unpack it to know that the color was not going to work um, for me. But I do have the Tomorrow Brown and I do have a second color that is in my collection that I am dying to carry. This bag has also 
been sprayed, Lysol, disinfected, wiped down with no problems. But I absolutely love this bag. I love that the charm on it can be taken off. Um, I really, I, 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 other than the straps, right? Rolled handles on here, rolled handles on um, the medium Russell. It just, it, they just don't work. They don't work. The length of these are much better. The length is so much better. If the length of these straps were on leisure, I mean on um, the medium Russell, I would probably still be complaining because they're rolled, but at least the shoulder drop would be better and it would make for a much easier carry than the short rolled handles that are stationary on there. I don't like the way these straps attach, but I do love the fact that it has an amazing shoulder drop and outside pocket, which can be front or back. So. If you're uh, one of those folks that want your pocket on the outside so that you can easily, you know, reach in, so that you can reach in and get your phone or get your boarding pass or, I don't know, uh, wipes or hand sanitizer, whatever it is, it can do that. But if you want to take your bag charm off and switch it to the other side, and use your pocket as a back pocket, you can do that as well. So it works. And I like that um, the, the silhouette itself is pretty streamlined. So you really can't tell the front from the back. I do prefer um, for this bag, I prefer my pocket to be on the outside just because I like being able to like, you know, take one strap off, get in my bag. I like being able to get in my pocket without having to take it off. But I do know that for security reasons, that there are many um, folks that like this bag because the pocket can be on the back so that it's safe, secure, um, and all you see are the D's and B's on the outside. So I like that there is the option um, to reverse, so to speak, the carry on this particular bag. But I didn't think it was going to ever go on sale. And I was, kinda, I was okay with that. I didn't want anybody's return. I had um, the points, so I did go ahead and pull the trigger. I also wanted to support the fact that Dooney... Um, had a, a model in the ad that looked like me and the fact that she was carrying this color bag. So I wanted them to understand the power of marketing and representation on their site. And I just decided what better way for me to um, show that than to be an early purchaser of this amazing bag, which is similar to Leisure but it is not identical, not identical. So y'all like my shirt tonight? I love the woman I've become because I fought to become her. So a uh, friend of mine from home um, actually has um, a business. I'm gonna post her information down below. So if you're interested in the shirt, you can reach out to her on Facebook. If you're following me on Instagram, I already put a post of the shirt earlier this week once I got it. Um, and her information is on the side, um, in the comments on the post on IG as well. Any color, any size, um, shipping included, it's $25. So if you're interested, and I just want it um, black and white, one, because um, I wanted them to go with a pair of sneakers that I'm wearing today, which are a pair of Adidas classics. Um, and I wanted them to kind of go with like my leggings and stuff. And I just felt like crisp, black, white, it would stand out. It would work with like a denim jacket over it, which I have that I'm going to uh, put on before I head out. Black jacket, 
um, whether I've got a, a zip up hoodie or anything like that. I just felt like the black and white would work with everything. So I do hope that many of you will participate in the winner is. Um, I have really enjoyed seeing your best of 2020 bags tag. Um, what I would also ask is that as a number 15, when you post your video or your list, post the bag that you are on the hunt for and indicate whether you're open to only retail or whether you're secondary market, specific color, if it comes in multiple sizes, state the size that you're looking for so that the rest of the community can be on the hunt with you, not for you. They, they still expect you to do some of your own um, investigative work, but to be on the lookout with you for your bag. And my bag, which is currently available, but it's not at the price that I want to pay, is the um, Brahmin bag, the large Duxbury that says what recently showed because I think it's Coco Cabana. Um, because the old cars and the palm trees are giving me like Miami Vice, Miami Cuba Vice. Y'all know I got a thing with Cuba. I have already sent a message to President Biden asking if we can go to Cuba. He said that he wanted to rebuild alliances with foreign countries and nations that we are a little estranged from. And I committed to him that if he allows me to go to Cuba that I will help rebuild alliance and support their economy while I am there. I also said that if he doesn't approve it, I'm probably going anyway, and I'll figure out how I'm going to get back in the country at the end of my trip because I'm so serious about getting there. I'm still waiting for a response, but I am committed that I am going to send a message on his social media at least once a week every week until I get a green light either to go to Cuba or until I depart for Cuba. So 15 categories, 14 are the winner is, the winner is the best price or deal, best small bag or crossbody, most sought after bag, most versatile accessory of 2020, your most reached for accessory, your best on the go accessory, your best catch all, your cutest or most power empowering accessory, the best COVID carry or your pandemic bag, the best purchase based on your category of bag choice, right? Best, I did best tote, you can do best crossbody, best satchel, best, you know, whatever. Um, the most purchased bag silhouette category for 2020, um, the most compared to your most sought after color, the bag. Oh my goodness. Did, did Akiko just post on Instagram something in golden mango? Can somebody check her page for me? I just got an alert. Um, the most sought after color. For you for 2020, the bag that took the longest to go on sale and the bag that you are looking for. I want new, large, Duxbury, Coco, Cabana, but I do not want to pay $375 for it. So I need to find that bag before it disappears again on at least a little bit of a discount. I just, I just want it. Because I got two bags, that bag and then um, my sandbar bag from Dooney and Burke. Those are going to be the only two bags that I travel to travel with either when I um, get permission to travel to Cuba or they will be joining me as I try to smuggle myself back in after my trip to Cuba. <laughs> it's, it's going down this year. Cuba has been calling me for almost two years now. It is time for me to answer. So 
I will be back end of the month with my best of 2020 bags. I do hope that some of you, all of you will consider thinking about these categories and sharing your winners in these categories because I think it will be interesting. I think it will challenge you to think about what you reached for, what you used, what you sought after in 2020. Um, and it will give us some more amazing content so that we can continue to support each other. Um, please hit the thumbs up before you head out. We will be back together on Friday, 8.30 Eastern, 7.30 Central on Mrs. Q's channel for For Real Friday. I will be back on Sunday at 6 p.m.-ish Eastern Standard Time for Feed Your Addiction. In the meantime, if you have fallen behind on videos or you have not started watching the bags that are in the hashtag best of 2020 handbags tag, then please do so. Um, if you are watching on a mobile device, probably like I am most of the time, I'm either on my tablet or my phone. I rarely watch on my computer, usually not watching on my TV either. Um, there are lots of other bags, videos that are coming up, kind of creating clutter. But if you go to the very top, um, YouTube asks if you're looking for best of 2020 bags, like words, like a search where those words are present, or are you only looking for bag videos that have the hashtag? If you select the hashtag as opposed to the um, search criteria, then it will narrow those videos back down for you so that you can find all of the videos of the amazing content creators in this community. That is all I have for you tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for watching. Please hit the thumbs up before you head out. If you are new here or have not yet subscribed, I would kindly ask that you would consider hitting the subscribe button and turning on the alert so that you never miss a live stream or a video upload. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care.